so this is my Acto tent. Uh, it's broken down in its component pieces so you can see what's involved. Um, on the right here is the footprint, then there's the poles and the pegs and the tent outer and that's the tent inner and I've got it in a little stuff sack separately. So what I'm going to do is show you how I put the uh, tent up. Uh, but the overall process is I found when a motorcycle camping and it's wet that you need to put the outer up first. Now you can have the tent pre-assembled so the outer, the inner attached to it, the footprint attached to that and all of the bits ready to go um, which is good for initial assembly but what I've actually found is it's way easier just to do the outer um, first so put the outer out peg it down put the pole in put the footprint in I do that because it goes in dry rather than putting the footprint down and having the rain on it and everything and then I hang the um, um, inner uh, from the ins on the inside of the tent and the little trick with that bit is that I do it by opening up the vents on either end of the tent and you can put your hands in and just clip the, the inner in. Um, and I found that to be the best way uh, when it's hammering it down with rain. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my little um, tripod up and then I'm going to go around and do the uh, tent. Right, now hopefully this will work. Um, I'll try and uh, get the tripod in. It's uh, a small tripod. It's just my little handheld one, so it doesn't go up very high. Uh, so you'll have to excuse me with this one. So this is the inner. Um, it squashes down about that far. So um, that's as small as you can get it, really. There's, on either end of the Acto, uh, if people don't know, there's a couple of metal poles and um, that stops it from compressing any further so what I do is I just these are the little metal poles and they're on either end you could take them out but I wouldn't bother um, so what I do is I just clump them together grab the ones at the other end and then roll the tent up just stuff it in the bag and it goes in even when it's soaking wet it goes in really simply so I don't know if you can see but that's the vent open um, so yeah so oh, hello so um, and that's in the in a rainy night I had both of those open uh, because you do get a lot of condensation small tent a lot of warmth a lot of moisture especially if you're on your motorcycle gear um, you're usually carrying a lot of water into the tent. Now, on the corner of the tent, I don't know if you can see these, but there are um, little metal round things and little plasticky things. Now, the metal things are where you put the pegs in and the little rubbery things are where you uh, put the tent pegs in. So I'm doing this off the cuff so it's not scripted. And then tent being inside out. Um, then you have these guy ropes and the guy ropes are really 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 funny because they come off the underside of the flap that goes over the the vents but it's all one rope and it goes into a like a W or V shaped in the middle so you put the pegs in out here and that pulls the uh, tent out um, and then these require adjusting but I found that once you adjust them you can lock them and um, it seems to work quite well. Right, I'm back again a little bit of noise in the uh, grounds behind and there's a dog barking so anyway this is uh, what I'm going to do to set it up so it's pretty pretty simple uh, on the inside of the tent, on the outside of the tent, you also have uh, a strap that goes down the length. That's like a tensioner strap. 
and it goes to the middle and then carries on through all the way down to the end I think um, that's just where the door is and uh, you also have another strap I'm not sure if I can find it that goes across the middle of the tent there it is so that goes across the middle of the tent and holds the tent side to side um, so it's fairly simple to put up just make sure I've got it the right way up so grommets to the inside and heliberg to the outside and it just goes up that way terribly important how it's done but realistically that's the bit that you want to get into the ground so pegs are fairly simple they're lightweight you get a bunch of them mine are covered in dirt still uh, they're quite light uh, yeah, you won't be able to see them but I'll hold them up to the camera a little bit more they're just very light pegs and they have to go in at an angle uh, that causes me a little bit of grief but I usually wear gloves when I put them in so I can push them in tight and then and then you're seeing what's happening there and I'll take the other two down the other end but basically the tent pole goes in there and it's a pretty good tent pole you do get a, a repair pole I'm not sure if I've showed that in another video and then it's fairly simple aluminium you've got to be careful putting it together it's not a heavy duty one you find the little hole and in it goes so you've got to kind of imagine it's chucking it down with rain and you want to get some kit in now I usually have all my kit in a dry bag and uh, so, so this goes in and I just pull it down and then there is a little flap thing adjuster bucket and that goes down and you can see one of the problems I have with these pegs is that they keep coming off especially when the wind's blowing and they can be a pain in the neck um, you're constantly having to go around and put them in and you can't really put them in terribly tight it's jammed hasn't gone into the bucket that's why I'm in it short There's another little bucket like this one at the other end. Um, so bang it in. And then the bucket goes on nice and simply. And then all you do is you just pull that tight. And that's it. Got my little hammer somewhere. But
some strange reason. It's two little pegs. Now it does say in the instructions, do not stand on the ends. Because these pegs bend really easily. But I keep another bag of them. So that is literally it in terms of the main side of it. And then this is the fun part. Making it look like a tent. And that's what it looks like when it's a tent. And then these are the side guys. You just roll that up. There's a technique for rolling it up which I'm not practiced in. And I think it's more that way. just goes around and then the other bit that I always forget about is this little thing here is another bit of wire and it goes there and you do have something to attach to I'm only assuming it's a guy line or something and then this comes down and you just take another tent peg and chuck it down And they just adjust. You can't see this because I'm not videoing it, but basically putting in tent pegs and uh, things actually I'll jump around. So this is the inside. That's what it looks like with the outer and there's the end down and that one's done up. So usually one of them is wind side and the other one isn't. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a really hacky video, but you get the gist, and uh, you can put the guy on in the other way. To, I haven't got enough garden, so I'm not going to really bother. So that's what it kind of looks like without the inner. Quickly going to. Uh, thing so there's the grommets there so and then what you have is you have these little red things and um, oh, yeah it's better uh, little red things and they just go through the little grommet ties so I'm just going to quickly do that and then come back and show you so that's the uh, little red things up I've opened the flap at the other end and that's what it looks like you see you can see there's a little gap just around the side uh, with that open so I've also put the string um, over the top of the mat you could probably put it underneath but I figure if it's muddy ground it could get a uh, thing so this is yeah summertime and um, so I'm not sure if I can get this on video uh, we'll see what we do so, but basically, I've got uh, a camera's width above my head. So, um, when I'm in here and I have the inner in, I um, can sit up and quite comfortably <coughs> and get changed, get my wet kit off and everything. So what I'll do is I'll grab the inner 
and pull that out of a bag. Again, and I'll so I'll grab the inner and I'll uh, put that up. It's the same process. Basically, what you've got is in the far top corner there, in the top corner there, you've got some metal clips. You've got the little plasticky things where the red things go in. Then you've got a whole bunch of clips for the inner side. They go in and you've got the four at the other end. So you start from the back end and you work your way forward. Okay, so that's the inner in uh, with the door rolled up. So that's the inner end with the door rolled up. Now, um, one of the little things is there's elastic cord with a little plastic bar on it and you put it through the uh, plastic hoop. Now on that end it's really easy to do and also when you go through the middle it's quite good to do. Um, the far corner is okay, and the bottom corner here is okay but then the last one is usually under attention. So I do, I do the top one and leave the last one and I pull the tent peg out and then that slackens everything off and you can put the do it up and then just go and stick the uh, tent peg back in again. I found that the best way of doing it because um, otherwise what happens is the elastic tends to um, ping back on you and then you've got a tensioner which I won't tension but it's basically here and that tensions the door up. Um, so what I'll do is I'll knock my DD tarp up and um, I'll show you something I do. Now I haven't, I'm not going to put my bed stuff in here, this is really just the joy of watching me faff about getting the tent done. You can tension all of this stuff, this is just the guy ropes, I'm not going to bother. Um, you can, there's a bit of an art to it. Uh, so as you can see, if I'm dry weather camping, uh, I wouldn't take the floor out wouldn't take the inner out I would just roll the whole tent up roll the poles up in the middle of it and put it in the bag um, that makes it a lot easier you pull it out and um, it becomes you just unroll it on the ground put the uh, end poles in it and uh, away you go Sorry, dog's just going a bit mental. Right, and uh, and so in a dry weather, you would just basically roll it out, put the, uh, the 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 pegs in, put the center pole in, and away you go. And uh, but in the wet weather, it is much better to um, take it down bit by bit. Uh, so what you can do in the wet weather is it's chucking it down with the rain you don't want to get wet so you basically unloop the inside put it in its stuff sack it'll be wet um, because you do get condensation on the inside of the tent or at least i did but it's not um, going to make you wet inside of the tent it's just condensation stuff and the vents either end do a really really good job of uh, stopping that from getting too bad and then what i do is i lift the uh, the footprint up and put that in its bag and that will be soaking wet and usually covered in mud and then um, then you, you you get out and you take the pole out and pegs out and then you roll everything up and stuff it in the bag and it's usually soaking wet and then that goes into my uh, tent bag that goes on the back of the motorcycle so um, by doing it that way you minimize the inner parts being uh, soaking wet if you just rolled it up and shoved it in the bag everything would get wet you come to put it up the next night um, it may still be raining and again then you've got even wetter um, tent so I like to just pull it apart and put it back together um, once you've got the outer up you can shove 
uh, jacket or helmet or gloves or something inside the um, vestibule area and they're out of the rain so um, that's why I do it that way. Also as you probably have noticed you, you don't necessarily need to use the inner um, or even the footprint so um, and it becomes a very very light tent uh, especially in the summertime. All right so I'm just going to go and put my uh, inner other tarp up and then we'll see how that happens. So this is uh, sometimes what I do with my tarp and you can see what I've done is just thrown the tarp over the top and then pegged it down and uh, on this side what I've done is I've just put the tent uh, walking stick in and and then I've used my trekking pole on the other side. There's lots of different ways of doing this. Uh, it depends really on what I have handy and you can get in there. Um, I could have thrown it around the other way so that the back, the door is by the back of the tarp um, or I can move my pole around and stick it there and just give it a bit more height that way and then you know tie that out with something and uh, she tends to be pretty good I've only got a few tie downs but um, you know gets the job done so and I can just sit under here <coughs> out of the sun on a hot day and uh, use the barbie and uh, get the porch going. We'll work on this a bit. So that would normally have a guy line on it. I run out, I put my uh, power cord somewhere. So uh, let's go and see if we can find it. All right, and there we are. We just stuck a bit of power cord on it and uh, that's what she looks like and uh, I could run the power cord back and you know do more and I could put more I've got another half a dozen things so I could peg it all out in the wind and make sure it's not going to blow away and, but I'm only going to have it up for another 10 minutes so can't see why I'd bother on that at the moment <laughs> 